In today's video, I am going to explain Gauss's forward interpolation formula. So, using Gauss's forward interpolation formula, we have to find y at 25 given that y at 20 is equal to 24 y at 24 is equal to 32, y at 28 is equal to 35 and y at 32 is equal to 40. So all these are x values that is 20, 24, 28 and 32 are given as x values and the corresponding y values are 24, 32, 35 and 40. So first of all for using Gauss's forward interpolation formula we have to create this forward difference table. So we have to frame this forward difference table for that. So these are all the x values that is 20, 24, 28 and 32 and the corresponding y values are 24, 32, 35 and 40. Now the first difference will be 32. So this is 32 minus 24 this value is 8. 35 minus 32 the value here is 3. 40 minus 35 the value here is 5. And for the second difference 3 minus 8 the value here is minus 5 and 5 minus 3 the value here is 2. And here 2 minus of minus 5 the value here is 7. So we have to find the value of see here which value we have to find 25. So x value is 25. Now the nearest value to 25 is nothing but 24. So I have to opt this as x naught and this will be y naught. So I, as it is the Gauss's forward interpolation I have to take this forward steps. So, or a forward wave here. So, these are all the values needed for substitution. See here. So, this value is nothing but y naught. See, x naught is equal to, see x naught is equal to 24 and h, it is the difference between these two. That is 38 minus 20, 32 minus 28, the value here is 4. So, in this formula, we have to substitute that is x is equal to x naught plus p into h. So, what is our x value? So, x is nothing but 25. What is x naught? This is 24. This is p into h value is nothing but 4. So, 25 minus 24 is equal to p into 4. So, p value is equal to 25 minus 24 is 1. 1 by 4. The value is, the p value is, this is 0 0.25. So, after getting this uh, p value, so we have to find out the value using Gauss's forward interpolation formula. So, according to the Gauss's forward interpolation formula, so we have y p value is equal to, so y naught. So, y naught I have to write for two times and p also I have to write for two times. That is p c1 delta. This is y naught I am using for once again and p I am using for one more time. That is p c2 and the second difference. So, two y naughts are completed. I am going with y minus 1. So, two p's are completed. I am going with p plus 1 c3 into this is delta q y minus 1. So, minus 1 for two times. y naught for two times. p for two times and p plus 1. The next value will be this is p plus 1 c4 into delta power 4. After 2y minus 1, I'll go with minus 2 plus and so on. In this way, if you remember, then it will be very easy. So, 2y naughts, 2y minus 1, 2y minus 2s. There are 2p's, 2p plus 1s and the next one will be p plus 2 and so on. So, now what is our p value? So, p value is nothing but 0 0.25. Now, we have to substitute and we have to calculate. So, these are the values needed. So, y p value, so y at... 25 value is equal to y naught. So, this value is y naught. The first value is 32. What is p? This is 0 0.25 into delta y naught. The next value here, after using 32, I need this value. I am writing it as 3. And the next one is p c2. That is 0 0.25 c2. And the next value here is minus 5. And the next p plus 1. That is 0 0.25 plus 1 c3 into after minus 1 the value here is 7. Now y at 25 is equal to this is 32. This value is 0 0.25 into 3 and this value this is a into n into this value is n minus 1 by 1 into 2 and this is minus 5 and here if you see this is 1.25 c3 into 7 so y at 
25 value is equal to this is 32 plus see if you see 0 0.25 into 3 the value is 0 0.75 so the value here is 0 0.75 and the next one here is this is 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 minus 1 is minus 0 0.75 this value is minus 5 by 2 and if you consider this one this is n into this is n minus 1 this is n minus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 7 see here y at 25 value is equal to this is 32 this is 0 0.75 so this value is minus into minus plus this is 0 0.25 this is 0 0.75 uh, and this is minus 5 divided by 2 if comes to this this is 0 0.25 one five so one point two five minus one this is zero point two five so this value is minus zero point seven five by one into two into three this value is a six into seven so y at twenty five value is equal to this is thirty two this is zero point seven five minus of minus this value is plus this value is a zero point two five into zero point seven five into five divided by two the value here is a 0 0.46875 and the next value here there is a single minus so i have to write it as single and now if i calculate see what happens here so if i calculate this is 1.25 into 0 0.25 into 0 0.75 into 7 divided by 6 the value here is this value is 0 0.27 three four three seven five now the value will be so this value this value will be this is 32 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 point this is four six eight this is four six eight seven five minus zero point this is two seven three four this is three seven five the value here is 32 point so y at 25 value is nothing but 32.94 this is 5. So, this is how we have to calculate using the Gauss's forward interpolation formula. See, first of all, these are all the values given. So, the x values are 20, 24, 28 and 32. Whereas, the y values here are 24, 32, 35 and 40. So, after writing all x and y values, so we have to make the difference table. And after finding this uh, difference table, so x is the value which is which is asked that is x is equal to 25 the nearest value here x naught is equal to 24 and h is equal to 4 and after substituting i got the value of p as 0 0.25 so if i substitute in the gauss's forward interpolation formula i got this value as 32.945 thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like you know please practice share it with your friends leave a comment below and i will be uploading many more videos regarding this series please have a look at them please practice and definitely it will immensely help you in your preparation thank you so much